Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Well, as you can see, I am in the camp. Uh, I've been back from Return to Ostagar DLC. And I also completed uh, Soldier Speak DLC in my previous episodes. So, uh, right now, for right now, I decided to uh, do another companion session. And for that, I intend to first of all finish Morgan's companion quest and then come back to camp and start another talking session with my companions. So, let's go to Flemeth's hut. Okay, uh, I know that I cannot take Morgan with me, so I will take Win. And. Well, yes. Alistair will be coming with me, as always. And who should it be? Other than that. Maybe okay. Liliana? Okay. So... Let's go. Alright. Oh, okay. Ooh, you need to level up. Hmm. Hmm, this sounds good. And you, Liliana? Okay. Hmm, this seems to be better option. Okay, let's go. Uh, you're exactly where I left you in my first episodes. Okay. And so you return. I do. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Hmm. What are you saying? I should dance to you tune instead? Why dance at all? Why not sing? <laughs> What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? So you are expecting this. Okay. Mm. Yes, she knows how you extend your unnatural lifespan. That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? So are you saying that it is not true? Well, defend yourself, then tell me what is the truth? Really? Just tell me. The truth, she says, as if it were <laughs> nothing. No, no. Far better the lie. Far better the comfort of blankets and shadows and a mother's love. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. I don't think so. And what happens to you if I do that? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening even. Would you give an old woman that? I don't know, and how strong are you really? You're just a very strong mage, right? Mm. You think she will believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. You know, I'm not going to betray my friend. I think I will choose Morrigan, if I have to choose between the two of you. Same. What will it be then? Well, I guess you know the answer to that. Mm, now you die? It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. I don't know. She will earn what she takes. What I'd have it doing? no other way. Oh no, 
that's not what I was expecting. Shit. How am I even supposed to fight that? I was escaping from the other high dragon and now this? I don't know. This is going to be one tough battle it seems. I mean just go away, go away. Alistair. What can we do against that? Come on, I don't know. Uh, Liliana. Maybe you can also go in a different far away position from wind to distract it and you just go and put the mark on her then maybe she will die faster <sighs> I will go with Win for now yeah. Ooh, already taking damage Away, right here. Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And Liliana, what are you doing on the battleground? Really? <sighs> Just go there and hold your position. And win, please put some regeneration on me. And you try to. Ouch! scared by the way I'm quite scared right now <laughs> Alistair needs healing I hope you're doing good job from there Liliana and you have your sustained powers on Alistair needs healing gulp Oh no 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 Go back I need stamina regeneration and I hope that you can do that win Not right now I guess uh. Oh she kicks me from the back Alistair fight Come on! Win! Ah! Uh, help! Okay, this might be good for all of us. And this. And then this. Oh no. Take this mark again. I'm trying. Alistair, fight! I put hold position on the others so they can fight from far away, but you need to come close. Oh shit, okay. Win! <laughs> Damn it. Just please bring me back. What now? 
Alistair, do something, oh damn it, what are you doing? Oh no, 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 that's not good. That's not good at all. No. <sighs> How long will you keep going at this? Oh, you're almost dead. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's that. Oh my god. I thought that I would be totally dead. Uh, where are you, Liliana? Liliana? Alright. Flamatsky. Hmm. Come on, move. <laughs> this hold position thing, if it were to work in a different way, like only on the companion that you activated it to, then it would be much better. Oh my. I just need a minute guys, just 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 a mi minute to try to... Yes. Back! Sorry. And so I shall. Okay. An old but lovingly cared it for book bound in leather of questionable origin. The pages smell of herbs and wood smoke intricate st uh, stitching on the cover marks out a leafless tree strangely ominous in its stark appearance robes of possession ooh all right for morgana okay let's go Time to go back to camp. She literally turned into a dragon. Oh well, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> to the camp. Well, Morgan, why didn't you tell me about that actually? That she can turn into a dragon? A warning would be nice. I await your command. Uh so full of questions, are you? <laughs> oh okay, uh, so Flemeth is dead? What now? Now I have time to find some way to prevent Flemeth from stealing my body in the future, even without her grimoire. For she no? will be back. One day I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? Mm, maybe I should have given her the book before talking to her. But, uh, I'm glad that you're safe. Let us go. There is much to be done before. There is still much to be done. Let me give you the book. Here you go. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? 
Mm -hmm. I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. You should really be grateful because I stole it from the horde of a dragon. <laughs> so <laughs> it wasn't easy. I do not know hmm. how else to describe it. I, uh, you look confused, maybe? Indeed I am, a little. I am Why? reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men she traveled with. Yet mm -hmm. I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Uh, why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. Morrigan, I am sure that it was because of the lack of experience on your end that you were not good at making threats, but it will get better with practice because you're not that a cold, that much cold person. I'm sure you can do it. And I did it because I'm your friend. And that is what I do not understand. Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend, perhaps even a sister. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk, there are more useful things to be done, surely. Why were you so sentimental when saying that? Like, you were... I don't know. Okay, uh... I don't know. <laughs> you sounded sad more than sentimental. Alright, uh... Well... I think I still have gifts to give my companions. But before all that, maybe I can start talking with them and then maybe afterwards I will give them more gifts, right? Hi, Alistair. Something you need, my dear? Well, maybe it's time for us to discuss something private. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? All right. Hmm. Where do you see this going between us? I don't know. Ali Eamon wants to make me king at the lands meet. I never ever wanted that, not in my wildest dreams. But I won't refuse it if it's in the best interest of the nation either. Really? I love you. You know that, right? But I have no idea what being king will mean for us. I'll have to think about that. Oh. Um. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Um. Well, I don't want to let you go. Nor I you. Let's just deal with the blight first. There will be time for these sorts of discussions later. Trust me. Okay. All right. Something you need, my dear. Mm, well, again? we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? <laughs> well, let's give him a oh. kiss. <laughs> you want to right now? Well, who am I to refuse? Okay, now that you're done with that, maybe we can talk something, something you need, my dear. else. Of I course. have some questions. 
Hmm. What was it like to be a Grey Warden with all of the others? I didn't know them for very long, but I guess it was longer than you. You never met them all, did you? They were no. quite a group. Actually, they felt like an extended family since we were all cut off from our former lives. We also laughed more than you'd think. There was this one time... Well, you probably don't want to hear stories about men you didn't know. Why not? Weren't there any women? Not as Grey Wardens. Not while I was there. I saw pictures of some, though none of them were as pretty as you are. There was one Grey Warden who came from Neanderthals. What was his name? Was Gregor. Gregor. He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard you've ever seen. And the man could drink. He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Finally, we all made a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. <laughs> it sounds like you really had a lot of fun. Sometimes. We were kin of a sort. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew... Well, anyhow, it doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Anyhow, we never did find out. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time the rest of us were passed out. Really? I'm told that Duncan walked in later on and saw us all passed out from one end of the hall to the <laughs> other and Gregor still drinking. <laughs> okay. Duncan laughed until he nearly... Until... Hmm. I'm sorry, this must be hard for you, but try to cheer up, please. Yes, I... I suppose so. I thought I was done with this, but it just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing at all. There's no body, not even a token of his that I could take with me. That must sound really stupid to you. I gave you Duncan's sword from Ostagar DLC. <laughs> Don't you recognize that? Probably not. But... Whatever it's worth, you have your memories of I him. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Well, there's no use in moaning about it, is there? He's gone. Let's just go. All right. I'm Anything wondering else? something. I'd like hmm? to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? No, I don't. <laughs> Okay, time for the juicy gossip. I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you said. That way mm -hmm. they'll mutiny and I shall become the group leader. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you want to lead, all you have to do is ask, Alistair. What? Lead? Me? No, 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 no leading. Bad things happen when I lead. We get lost. People die. And the next thing you know, I'm stranded somewhere without any pants. Seriously, though, I'm only curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions, and I just want to see if yours are any different. Well, I also had time to form my own opinions about them. Almost all of them are my friends at this point. Uh... Well, you give me your opinion too. Just try and stop me. Let's <laughs> see, where should I begin? Zevran, okay. the elf. You can't trust him, can you? Do you believe his so-called vow? Well... Um, maybe. We will see about that, I think. That's a lot to put on a maybe, isn't I it? I know. He's an assassin. The crows aren't known for giving up. Maybe he's just biding his time. But he really made me believe that he is not after us anymore, so he is also helping us. That's enough for me right now, because, you know, we need all the help we can get. And yes, I don't think he will try again. That's very trusting of you. Mm -hmm. I guess I you know. must have your reasons. <laughs> what about I do. Sten? The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. I know. <laughs> He's so quiet for someone so big. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Well, maybe we can call him dedicated. Yes, 
He's dedicated, I'll give him that. Yet he doesn't seem quite so bad as the Chantry tells us. According to them, his philosophy is vile and evil. Well... Yet he seems so reasonable. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? Well, first of all, fuck off Chantry. And second... I believe that he intends to repent. Mm. Yes, he seems to regret. But on what degree, I'm not sure about that yet. We will see. Hmm. I'm not so sure that his regret means the same as it would for us. Maybe, the Kunari yes, sense that's of honor the... is, is a bit hard to grasp. For me, anyway. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? <laughs> or do you really believe in her vision? Well, she saw something, I am sure of that. I believe in that. But the way she interprets that dream, I am not sure if she is doing it correctly. Uh, but yes, she believes in her vision. That's one way to put it. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so, so sad. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. Mm, it's It was her choice. But again, I also believe that it is good for her. This is what she wants to do and... Yes, it's good, good for, for her. you, maybe. Her? I'm not so sure about. Why not? Morrigan. Do you trust her? Think about it. I do. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Well, I think that's completely true. You're probably right, yes. And you're just going to let her follow us around? A Malefica and make her She's not. Else. She's not a Malefica, Alistair. Come on. <laughs> I let you follow us around. Mm. Yes, your Templar training is showing. It is not. All right, maybe it is a little. Mm -hmm. You may have a point. Enough. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Something you need, my Anything dear. else? Of course. Let's see. Okay, maybe later then. Who's next? Hi, Zevran. What say you? Hmm. Do you stare at me? Why? Why are you staring at me? Not everyone, but a beautiful woman like yourself. Why oh. not? I'm sure you draw many stares from men and even other women. Does this bother you? Ah, uh, I have a boyfriend. Ah. Uh... I don't know. Uh, I shouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that I like it. It would be totally cheating on my boyfriend. I mean, Alistair. <laughs> and if I say it does, it seems also rude. But you can stare, but just stay away. From far away. But you would prefer I desisted, perhaps. It would be mm -hmm. difficult traveling as we do in close proximity. But I am nothing if not a gentleman. Uh huh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yes, maybe I will prefer if you stop. Your wish is my command. Now that that is out of the way, shall we move on? With my eyes fastened elsewhere, I assure you. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> All what right. Say you? Mm, care to answer some by questions? Mm, more about your adventures. Okay. Again. Well, now, what might interest you? I wonder. Shall I describe the stages involved with Lanthrax poisoning? I watched a man go through all seven once. What? Okay, okay. Fun. You have rather macabre tastes, I see. I like that. 
Let's see, how about the largest battle I ever took part in? That would have been the slaughter of Prince Azrin. Did you hear of that down in these parts? No, I didn't. But you killed the prince? Me? Not personally, but I did take part in the attack. Prince Azrin was fourth in line to the throne, you see. He started off as 11th, but worked his way up the old-fashioned <laughs> method by inheriting control of an entire Crocelle from his grandfather. After assassinating Ooh. his way through the royal family, King hired three other cells to take down Prince Azrin once and for all. I was in one of those cells. <laughs> yeah, it seems common in Antiva. Yeah, is this sort of in common? Even royalty is very much bound up in the crows. You wouldn't want it run by a bunch of commoners after all, would you? And this means they get involved in politics quite often. This particular fight nearly bankrupted the nation, I understand. It almost ended up putting a crow on the throne, a commoner, but that's a whole <laughs> different story. I played a very small part. What did you do? The run? My part in the entire battle was taken up trying to reach Princess Verina, who had thrown in with her brother. I killed about 11 of her guards personally before I got knocked out of a window. I landed in the river and nearly drowned. I was fished out by some urchins who robbed me <laughs> made off with my boots too. At least they didn't cut my throat. And that was my part in history. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're very lucky in this. <laughs> it's true. I live a charmed life. One of the prostitutes that raised me was a fortune teller. Said I wouldn't die young. She was rather startled by that. But there you go. Tale told. Let's be off before I tell more embarrassing stories, huh? <laughs> I want more, actually, you? of your embracing stories. Care By to answer? Means. Hmm. All right, more adventures then. Well, the only one that's really worth telling is the story of the mission right before I came to Ferelden. But no, I, I would rather not. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Mm. Why not? What's the problem? Nothing that I would prefer to speak of. Perhaps another day, I'm sorry. Okay, I will not press the issue then. Maybe later? Hi, Win. What's on your mind? Hmm. Oh, have you changed your mind about Alistair and me? I have watched you for a time and mm -hmm. perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. He seems less guarded when in your company, allows himself to relax. And he seems genuinely happy. Well, that makes me happy to hear that. Oh, I'm happy with him. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before. And I am sorry. <laughs> well, apology accepted. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you. But love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. Mm -hmm. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. Thank you. And yes, I will cherish it while I have it and no, I'm not going to give What's up on, on something mind? like that just because it might end later. Everything will end, so no. Hmm. Is there something we can do to cure you? Cure me? What? Am I sick now? Kind of. Hmm. But I guess. Death isn't an illness, is it? Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And mm -hmm. I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. Ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone. And it is not something to fear. Well, uh, you're not afraid. I don't want. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to ask that. But I'd rather be alive 
like everyone else, I think. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content, it is enough. Are you content? I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I for one am not afraid of death, whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the fade and returns to the maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? I suppose. All right. And Liliana, how have you been since we let Marginally go? Do you remember our discussion? I do. Yes, I of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. Despite what Marjolaine says, I am not like her. I know that now. I have found peace in knowing the Maker, and nothing will change that. I followed you to make the world a better place, and as long as I keep that in mind, I will not fall. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. <laughs> but it was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you. Alright, I'm happy for you too. Anything else? So, you and Alistair? Me and Alistair? <laughs> Yes. You and Alistair. Together, looking contented. You even have a glow about you. So shameless. So what? <laughs> uh, I'm not... Uh, shameless? Well, you know, radiating joy and love while everyone has to face death <laughs> and the blight and a bleak future. Terrible gloating like that. So... How is Alistair? Uh, <laughs> he looks fine to me. You know what I mean. Alistair and you, those long He must be quite delightful. You wouldn't be so happy otherwise, I think. Maybe. He's athletic. That's always nice. He's also good at following instructions, isn't he? How do you know that? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm very happy with his performance, okay. Oh, fascinating. The little Templar is all grown up and apparently he <clears throat> plays well with others. You must apparently. keep me updated on any new developments. We will see about that. <laughs> You've seen and touched and dressed his ashes. I did? Holiest thing on this earth. The remains of the Maker's Chosen. You were also there? Hmm, yes, it's quite remarkable. I didn't thought so, but it is, apparently. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Hmm. Why do you even revere Andraste? What does that actually mean? Why shouldn't I? I don't understand. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant, so never mind, forget I said anything, I just got it then wrong. Then let us move on. Okay. Okay, anything else? I know else? that, look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Maybe. No, you shouldn't go. We need to of talk. Course. Huh. Are you feeling better about what happened with Marjolaine? Yes, a little better. Time heals all wounds, so they say. Scars remain, but they are just colors in the painting that is my life, no? <laughs> Maybe? Well, I just wanted to make sure that you were alright. I think you are now. I wish things had happened differently, but knowing her and knowing me, I don't think it could have. We had good times though, and I look back on those fondly. Whatever happened after will never change the truth of the past. 
Mm-hmm. That's true. She was special to you, I think. Yes, wasn't she? You told me that you loved her. Yes, once, a long time ago. She was a worldly woman and there was so much she knew and was willing to share with me. I would have done anything for her once. I'm sorry that it had to end this way. She used to be different. Happier, I think. She loved music and had a weakness for sugary cakes. Maybe she was always lying about who she was. Maybe. Or maybe she changed over the years. Hmm, I think people usually just do not change but realize their real selves sometimes later in the life. Hmm. Do you miss her? I do. And I probably always will. I will just move on. And I... You have to, I think. I think I have. You are how she used to be years ago. A joy to be around. What? A constant companion and a listening ear in times of need. Mm. Well, I'm not Marjolaine. Yes. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think you would ever do what she did to me. I have never no. regretted leaving Ole. I do not regret any of the pain, the anger, the loneliness, because it brought me to you, and I... What? You. It's so wonderful to say that to someone again. <laughs> but people are starting to look at me strangely. We will speak of this again, I promise. Where did you get this wrong? Or where did I... Uh, taught you something wrong? I don't know. Uh, this is trouble. <laughs> I was just trying to be friendly and since I told her that I saw her as a friend much before, I thought that it would be clear. Mm. Shall we talk again, Eliana, to make this clear? I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me, safer. Uh, yeah, be alert and we should be relatively I safe. I the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darks will never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. Hmm. You seem to be trying to be flirty, and I really need to stop that. Yeah, but we are all entitled to be little silliness from now and I then. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen mostly. And sometimes I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find out for. And I know you're watching out for me. Oh my god, I need to stop this. Yes, that's what friends do. We look out for each other. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. Because you're, you're my our, friend. A leader, I'm my friend. And sometimes I think that maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. Didn't you see our show off of awkward lawmaking with Alistair in the middle of the camp? <laughs> Uh what? No, we are not more than friends. Uh, don't change yeah, the subject. There isn't much more I can say. My feelings have been laid bare. You are very special to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't seem to be able to evade this. Oof, uh, yes, we should stay friends. friends? Yes. Right, mm -hmm. friends. I, well, uh, I mean, <laughs> I can't imagine why we wouldn't stay friends. Yeah. 
because maybe my boyfriend back there, like, you can see him uh, if you look behind me. <laughs> There's someone else in my life, yes! Yes, I... I understand. Completely. It's you and not me. I should go. I didn't say that. I wasn't that terrible to you. That's a terrible lie to break up with people. It's not you, it's me. Come on. But at least you didn't disapprove, so you weren't that heartbroken as Zevran, I guess. Ooh. I think I evaded that quite good. And I am actually out of time. So next episode I will probably have to continue to talk to my companions and then I will make sure to keep it a little bit short and start for a new main adventure. Thank you for watching guys, I will see you next time, bye bye.